Oh my God, I'm so thrilled that you're all here. I, I feel like a lot of the time you get to speak to one person who's involved in a project, but not, you know, the whole uh, family, yeah. which you're gonna have different perspectives, which is a lot of what your film's about. Right. Family and different perspectives. And I just knew out of the gate when I was watching it, I was like, this is someone, this is, it seemed, tell me if I'm correct, very personal for you. That's exactly right, yeah. Um, and yeah, thank you for saying that. Yeah, so yeah, Finn plays a character who is like um, a rock star online. He has 20,000 followers around the yep. world from Belarus to Bangladesh. And his mom is, uh, she runs a domestic violence shelter. Yep. And the two of them have like a clash of, of, of culture, generation, and values. Okay, uh, Finn, I'm so excited to talk to you. I actually got to hang out with Millie Bobby Brown. Um, she did the show. But uh, I heard recently um, that she was talking about on-screen kissing with you. Um, and she was teasing uh, that you were... Uh, she wow, said, a lousy? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, so and lousy. you guys are like brother and sister. Like yeah, yeah, you yeah. and Noah and her have grown up together. You have raised each other in certain ways. Yeah, absolutely. Like, how did you feel about your family member calling you a lousy kisser? You know, I, you know what? My first uh, like on-screen kiss was with Millie. Um, and so, but I didn't know how to like approach that in any way. And there was no, it just was like, you're gonna do this thing. And at the end of the take, you're gonna kiss her. And then, so I just like, kind of just like, almost like head butted her. Yeah. <laughs> and then, but and that's how that worked. Way of putting in, it. And yeah, yeah, yeah. The romantic way of putting it was that, uh, yeah, I head butted her. Well, I, I've had to kiss a lot of people uh, over the years. It's very mechanical. Um, and I was excited because I was going to kiss my boyfriend at the time on screen, Luke Wilson. And I was like, this is going to be great. And then he kissed me in the scene like, <laughs> and I was like, I thought this was going to be different. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's so weird. He gave me the pursed lips. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I even give open mouth, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I just had to talk to you about that because I, I feel well, like on-screen weird thing. On screen kissing is a weird world. Okay, Alicia, you used to write screenplays based on movies is this true? Yeah, it's no, it's not really impressive at all. So basically, oh, oh my god, <laughs> oh my god, yes. oh my god, that's that is so sweet. Sweet. Wow. So basically, I was obsessed with the Cheetah Girls movie, and apparently, <laughs> a lot of fans. They made the movie into a book you could buy at Barnes and Noble and read it with pictures in it and stuff. Then I took that book that was already a movie and made my own, like wrote it up myself and made my own screenplay and made my friends act it out. But it was already she a movie, so it was it. just so. What is unimpressive about that? It's, I mean, like, cause it was already a film. And like, no, <laughs> very... this is so smart. Thank you, Drew. That's yes. amazing to me. Yeah. That's what you're going for, right? That's exactly what I was going for. Yeah. All right, so what was it like to work with Jesse as a director? I loved it. I was extremely intimidated at first because I was I was a fan of you. Of course, of course. Still am, not was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, of course I knew. Like the least intimidating person. Yeah, I that, know, and then I yeah. met you. I and draw then a I picture <laughs> of the least intimidating person <laughs> who's still a human being. I think it would look like I'm that. honestly intimidated by all actors. I feel like they're, I mean, you just want to, you, you meet people, you meet other actors and you want to be challenged and you want to um, just drop into the space and feel really comfortable and, I was just nervous. It was like the first time I'd worked in a year because this was 2021, right. January, and I'd been like cooped up in a house and I was just nervous all around. And then mm -hmm. Jesse just made me feel so comfortable and was so open to collaborating. Well, you did a wonderful job uh, helming and leading this beautiful story about humanity and families and what's important to do with a life mm -hmm. and figure that out along the way and take care of other people, because I was like, what does the title mean? And when I saw the film, you get it. Um, we have a clip of when you finish saving the world. Uh, let's take a look at it, please. You don't have to be interested in politics. But I am. No, you're not. It's obvious, but it's, it's cool. You think I'm stupid? No, no, I didn't say that. So can you teach me? About what? I watch you talk about things. Like like big things. And you talk about them with such passion. Yeah, perfect. Jesse Eisenberg, Ken Wilcard, and Alicia Bow. when you finish saving the world, is in theaters tomorrow.